Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anda Malescu and I am the owner of Malescu Law, a law firm based in Miami, Florida. Here at Malescu Law, we specialize in serving companies, investors and entrepreneurs in the area of business corporate law in Florida and immigration throughout the United States. If you need to get in touch with us, you have our contact information in this video and below this video. But before we get started, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell button or the subscribe button. Today we are going to speak about the EB-5 Investor Visa Program and some of the changes that have taken place in the month of June 2021. Specifically, we are going to speak about whether the EB-5 program is still available to investors that are looking to obtain permanent residency in the United States. As of July 2021, the EB-5 visa program for the United States is only available to those investors who are making a direct investment in an operating U.S. business. However, the EB-5 visa program is not available at this time for those investors who are looking to make a passive investment through the EB-5 Regional Center program. This is because the EB-5 Regional Center program has not been reauthorized by the United States Congress and has expired at midnight on June 30th, 2021. During the lapse in authorizations, the investors who are planning to invest through the regional center program will not be able to continue doing these investments. However, it is important to understand that the investors who are planning to apply for an EB-5 visa through a direct investment can continue to do so at this time. Given the lapse in authorization, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services will reject any form or petition for an EB-5 visa that is based on the EB-5 Regional Center program and is received on or after July 1st, 2021, including one, application for regional center designation except for amendments to the center's name, organizational structure, administration, or ownership. Two, immigrant petition by alien investor, Three, application to register permanent residence or adjust status or application for employment authorization or application for travel document, all of them be that are based on a regional center immigrant petition by alien investor that has been approved. During the lapse in authorization for the EB-5 Regional Center program, the USCIS will not continue to process any petitions or types of forms associated with the EB-5 Regional Center program. However, if you have received the written correspondence from USCIS asking you to respond by a certain date, then you should go ahead and submit your response. USCIS will not review the response at this time, but it will maintain it in the system until further changes are being made to the EB-5 Regional Center program. It is also important for you to know that USCIS will continue to accept and process petitions by entrepreneurs to remove conditions on the permanent resident status in the normal course, even for those petitions filed on or after July 1st, 2021. This is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you need to get in touch with us, you have our contact information in this video and below this video. We will see you soon. Bye.